Living at a boys' farm may not sound like a fun place to stay, but at the one here in Newberry, the staff strive to make it a home for the boys who live here. These boys move to the farm from bad family situations and some are placed by their parents to improve their behavior. They're taught responsibility and Christian values. For director Michael Davis, nothing is more rewarding than living with these boys. I tell you, I think that I and I think most of the staff would tell you uh, feel even more benefited from the experience. There's just something so special about being able to be a part of changing someone's life. There are 18 boys that currently live here on the boys' farm who all have designated chores by their house parents. Today I'm helping one boy with his chores while he feeds and brushes the horses. Caleb is a seventh grader whose mom moved him to the boys' farm about two years ago. At first I thought it was going to be kind of weird. Like when I first heard that I was going to come to boys' farm, I thought of it as kind of like a jail kind of place, honestly, for like bad kids and stuff. I thought there was going to be like locks on the doors, bars on the windows, stuff like that. And uh, I guess once I came here, I found that it was extremely different from that. I mean, pretty much the exact opposite. The boys stay on the farm for an average of two years, but sometimes they decide to stay all the way through college. For people like Brandon White, the boys' farm permanently changes them. Well, to put it like this, when I was 12, I was committing felony offenses, things that could have really put me in a lot of trouble. So if I had no supervision, see, it's not like my mom cared where I was and it completely changed my life and had I not been there, I would definitely be on the other side of the law, absolutely. Brandon used his experience at the farm to help motivate him to go to college and become a Greenwood police officer. And within the past few years, seven other boys from the farm have also gone to college. Michael knows the time spent here can have lasting effects. The, the change that takes place in that young man's life doesn't just affect him and his mother, but it also affects probably his potential future wife. Uh, a lot of people that he's interacting with, you know, if he's a, a cop or a youth pastor, and it's just very, very rewarding. Successes like Brandon give boys like Caleb an idea of what they hope to do in their future. Something like that, police officer, detective, I mean, yeah. I think it'd be pretty cool. And this farm will continue to help their boys grow up to be responsible, successful men. Karami Sullivan, Carolina News.